Greetings. You are now watching the demonstration video for Operating Plus Life Integrated Nucleic Acid Testing Device. Easy 5 Steps Operation. Obtaining test result within 35 minutes with laboratory PCR level accuracy. Please be aware, device operators must strictly follow the instruction during the whole process. Preparation. Open the package of the testing device and make sure all parts are intact. If vial leakage and package damage occurred, then this test kit should no longer be used in operation. Connect the power supply to the Plus Life Mini Dock. Press the button of the device and enter the warm up status. Disinfect your hands during the warm up process and place the nucleic acid releasing agent 01 on the card holder. The warm up will be completed in two minutes. After the power light turns from flashing red to blue, that means the mini dock has finished warm up and ready for the test. Step 1 Sample Collection Remove the cell of the nucleic acid releasing agent 01. Then place it back to the holder. Take out the disposable sampling swab from the notch and hold with handle end. During sampling, person being tested should tilt her head back about 70 degrees. Insert the swab tip into one nostril until it meets resistance. Rotate it three times against the inner wall of one nostril. Then repeat the same process for the other nostril to finish the sampling. Step 2. Sample Processing Insert the sampled disposal sampling swab into the vial. Twist and pinch the swab tip against the bottom and sides of the vial for 10 times. Discard the sampled swab and the vial seal into the waste bag. Screw the blue cap of the vial. Tear open the aluminum foil bag of the SARS-CoV-2 reaction card and take it out. Place it on the card holder, then move on to the next stage. Step 3. Injecting the sample. Unscrew the cap above the reaction card, then squeeze the specimen into the sample tube of the card. Bear in mind that there are two liquid injection lines marked on the sample tube. When adding the specimen into the tube, the liquid level should stay between two lines. Adding too much or too less specimen may cause invalid result. Screw the cap immediately until you can screw no more after the injection. In order to get maximum air tightness, failed to assure air tightness could easily lead to invalid result. Screw the small top cap off the vial again and place it into the waste bag for disposal. Press the top air bag on the tube to deform it into the tube. Wait for 10 seconds until the specimen liquid fully fills all the chambers. Please be aware that invalid results are likely to occur if a large number of air bubbles or insufficiently dissolved reagents are present in the chambers. Hold up the card and shake it up and down 10 times within 5 seconds. Step 4. Sample Detection The sample SARS-CoV-2 reaction card must be tested immediately. Open the upper cover of the mini dock. Insert the card into the dock as indicated and close the upper cover. Press the power button to start detection. The indicator flashes blue during the detection. Step 5. Interpreting test result. The test result will be presented by the indicators after 15 to 35 minutes. When the negative indicator light on, the sample was determined to be SARS-CoV-2 negative. When the positive indicator light on, the sample was determined to be SARS-CoV-2 positive. While if all indicators are on at the same time, the test is invalid and should be start over again. After recording the test results, discard the reaction card to the waste bag immediately. There is no need to restart the mini dock if an additional test is required. Operator can directly insert another reaction card. Close the upper cover, then press the button to start the new test. If operator needs to shut the device down, hold the button for 3 seconds to turn it off.